I'm going to show you how to migrate websites outside of the zip platform and onto your permanent web hosting. Here's a website that I made and this will be the website that we are going to migrate outside of the zip platform onto my permanent hosting. So step one is to go to your permanent web hosting and install a fresh copy of WordPress. I've done that here. This is a fresh copy of WordPress and you can see right here the URL to this website is my permanent URL with my web hosting service. Now step two on the zip site, you wanna make sure you know what the username and password is. Right now, I would encourage you to hover over here on the top right, click on edit profile, and right here you can add your first name, last name, change the nickname. So I'll do that right now for myself. Then you'll wanna scroll down here and verify the email address for the user account. And then when you scroll down, you can optionally right now, if you want, set a password that you prefer to use for your login. The reason we wanna do this on the zip platform is when we move the website to the permanent hosting, this is what the login will be. So you wanna make sure that you know what that login is. Next, you're gonna to want to install a free migration plugin. So you'll go to plugins, click on add new. You'll do a search right here for all in one migration. Here it is, I'll click on install and then I'm going to activate it. Okay, now that it's activated, you'll see a new menu option here. We're gonna click where it says export. Then where it says export to, let's click on this option. Let's choose file. It's going to prepare the file, the export file. Here it is, and you'll wanna click on this to download it to your local computer. Now that it's downloaded, you can click on close. Next, we're gonna to go to the site that has the fresh WordPress installation where we're migrating this to, and we're gonna to go to plugins. We'll choose add new. We're gonna do a search for that same plugin, all-in-one migration. We'll click on install. And now I'll activate it. We'll go to where it says all-in-one migration here on the left. And this time we're gonna choose import. Now you'll wanna click right here where it says import from. You'll choose a file or you can drag and drop that file that you just downloaded right here. I've added mine, it's going to quickly process that file. Now it is checking everything with it. Now it's important to understand any notice that it will show. This is a destructive process, so anything on this fresh installation of WordPress is going to be completely wiped out and replaced with what you built on the Zip platform. Now you might also get a notice like this. It's simply saying that on Zip, there's a different version of PHP than on the hosting. You may or may not get this. You can disregard this message. I'm gonna go ahead and click on proceed and it's going to restore the migration file. Now it's saying your site has been imported successfully. That was very quick. And it's recommending that I do two things. One, I save the permalink structure. This is very easy. And number two, give them a review. So let's click on this. It's gonna open in a new tab. Now it's prompting me to log in, but the login is the zip login from the zip website that we just checked a moment ago. So I'll put my email in and that password. Once you log in, it will take you to your permalink settings and I'll just click right here where it says save changes and then they are now reset. So now your website is migrated. Let's do two things. Let's disable and delete the all-in-one migration plugin. So I'm gonna to go to plugins. Here it is, I'm gonna click on deactivate and then I'll click on delete and then I'll click on okay. So now the migration plugin is no longer on my website and I can see the two plugins that came over from my zip site. You can see the site title has changed for the zip site. And let's go ahead and take a look at the website. And here it is, the full website migrated that quickly and that easy from the Zip platform.